Hello friends. I stole that from John Knott. He always starts his videos like that and I always like his intro. Okay, so I'm gonna do a run in the dark just to test his GoPro out. All right, here we go. You gotta get pumped up in the morning. I'm a music guy. I have to listen to music as I run. And I usually listen to the running channel on Pandora. But sometimes I'll throw in some Biggie Smalls or Pitbull. I used to listen to podcasts, but that got old. Piece of gum, you never know if you're gonna run into Jennifer Aniston. All right, here we go. I don't like running with things in my hand, so this will be interesting. My buddy John, he's always got his phone in his hand when he's running. And I'm always like, God, that's the last thing I want to be doing. But he also takes pictures when he's running. Good pictures, too kind of makes a deal of it you know get burn some calories get some photos in it's all positive nothing wrong with that when I run in the mornings I usually try to get around some kind of light but every once in a while I'll just run these back streets and it's dangerous because they you can step in holes, turn your ankle real easy. I'm interested to see how this works out. My other camera was real cheap, so the quality wasn't great. So we'll see how this works out. So I'm usually running earlier in the morning than this, but right now I don't have no work. I went and had a meeting with my boss and the job I do which is a safety guy we don't have no work to do so the only option he gave me was to pretty much pick up a shovel and just be a laborer which I appreciate that but ideally that's not what I want to do although if I want to get a paycheck and keep my insurance, sounds like I'm going to have to do that. But this week I'm just, I'm trying to, I don't know, use all my resources and see if there's anything out there for me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 41 and still trying to figure it out. It's been a real interesting last three years. Where I work now has been real interesting the last six months, just for personal reasons. Life's funny. It's just, you never know. I know I have no complaints though. My heart's beating. I got good friends and family. And I am, I'm breathing heavy right now is what I'm doing but I'm about as happy as I've ever been in my life most confident and I guess that comes with age and I've had a lot of experiences in this life failures and wins I 
wonder if y'all can hear me this close to the highway. I can't wait till I can run three miles again and it doesn't bother me. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I guess my next move. I really don't know even what to, how to say that. It's just been a real weird year. That's life, right? So I'm just trying to make the best of it. All right, enough of that. I do have some buddies running a half marathon this weekend, which total studs, they haven't even trained for it. When I ran mine last this year, I trained for 12 weeks, I think, and it about killed me. Now these guys are in way better shape than I am, but y'all are studs. If y'all watch this, y'all are studs, man. I wish y'all luck. Like I said, those last three miles, when it gets hard, remember, you're my inspiration, Nate and John. Go get it. Six, seven years ago, when I started running, and the only reason I started running was because of my ex-wife, which is funny, because I don't know what got into her, but she wanted to run, and I was like, well, I want to be a supportive boyfriend at that point. So I started running. She didn't run for long, like a year maybe, because she had to have knee surgery. She wasn't really built for running, who is? But anyway, she had knee surgery and I pretty much kept up with the running since. It's off and on. But this, this little area here especially like seven years ago was one of my favorite places to run especially Christmas time because there'd be a lot of lights up but I've noticed in the last few years that's not a thing anymore there's very few lights out here anymore which I'm not a big God guy, Christian type person. Nothing against people that do. Just that's just not me. But stuff like that just shows you the shift in our world. At least in my opinion. When I was a kid, we used to go look at lights at Bishop Hills and the, you know, just the nice neighborhoods. And those, it's just not like that anymore. Little shift in our world the last two decades. Some say for the better. Most of the people I know would say for the worse. I don't really care either way. I'm just gonna be me and when my heart stops, I just hope I can look back and say I did it the best I could. And hopefully got one date with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> okay, yeah, holding this thing sucks. Let's see if I can set this up how it looks. So for the friends that ask me how I do those editing like that, yeah, I just put the camera down. I go back, backwards and run back towards the camera. I run by the camera, and then I have to go pick it up, and then I edit it. So yeah, that's kind of, that'll be a rough showing of how I do that without the edit. How about that? One mile, 11, 14 pace. 
not good, but I'm going to start running again, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself right now, even though maybe I should be. We'll tell you, not having a, like a work kills me because it ruins my rhythm on my diet because I'm at home and I'm like, hey, I can eat breakfast today because I never eat breakfast. And I usually get a Coke, which I will today. And those are excuses, but it's just true. I'm weak when it comes to that. So, too much freedom is not always a good thing, especially when you're not getting paid. That's the worst part. See if I can see the moon in this thing. It's kind of cool looking today. So I still haven't figured out what my goals are going to be for this fall and winter. I really got to figure out how we make a living more than anything. So that's been my priority. Other than losing weight, I don't have any set goals. Shout out to my mom. She has her seventh treatment today for lung cancer. Hopefully, her platelets were low last week, so they weren't able to do it. So hopefully, her blood test will come back good today and she get that seventh round in. Talking about life being tough. Mom's one of the strongest people I ever met in my life. Her life hasn't gone exactly as planned, but she's always made the best of it. And just watching her go through these treatments and cancer like a champ, it's inspiring. And much respect to my dad for just being there by her side the whole time. Mom's had nothing but good things to say about you. I just appreciate calling you all my parents. One of the reasons I can run in the morning is because most people are sleeping or I don't know, getting ready for work. And I always just like the feeling of I'm getting one up on everybody or most people, you know, out here grinding it. I'm no stud, but I'm working, and it's just a good way to start your day, a good positive start. What's funny is I'll run by houses where people are getting in their car or, or smoking a cigarette, whatever they're doing, and they just look miserable most times, and I totally get it. but. That keeps me going too. Cause I'm, you know, putting in a little work. I might have should have turned somewhere. A mile and a half in. Horrible pace. Oh well. I'll blame the camera. It's gotta be somebody else's fault, right? Can you see the sweat on me? <laughs> I think I'm talked out also. I don't know what to talk about. I will say, starting up running this year was way better than last year. I could run over a mile easy without stopping. Last year I had to work up just to a mile. So, even though I didn't run for five months, I think training for that half marathon really did me some good as far as longevity with my endurance. I don't know. I'm not very fast, but I get there. That's what she said. See, my hands are sweaty. It's hard to hold on to this tripod. 
and this camera's like i don't know 400 500 bucks i don't know i use my credit card miles because i'm a baller <laughs> I hate running in long grass, especially when it's wet. All right, I gotta get a picture for my app. My map, my run app. I'll show you how to do that. Plus, this is a great excuse. This is a great excuse to walk for a minute. Always take pictures of signs in the morning because there's really nothing else to take pictures of unless the sun's coming up which it usually isn't all right i better start running again this is the areas where you gotta be careful people in the morning just woke up they're just trying to get to work so you gotta watch out for yourself when you're a runner Look at all these people going to work, making a living. I'm telling you, you gotta be really careful when you're running busy streets. Nobody gives a shit about you. You think motorcycles are bad? Go run in traffic. I do have a good story I'll share. This place wastes way too much water. Uh, I almost got hit one time by a lady on her phone. And she bumped my knees with the bumper. She wasn't even looking up, she's looking at her phone. And she stopped and when she did, I slammed my palms on her, on her hood and gave her the business, you know. I was so hot because all it took was for her to... All it took for her was to hit that gas and I would have been ran over or rolled over. And I get it. I hate to complain too much. I mean, I've been there. You're not looking for everything. It's just frustrating when you're a runner and you have to deal with it. Because you're gonna die or get hurt really bad. Morning. I like the skyline like it is right now. I never get to see it except from the weekends usually. Oh, when that sun first starts coming up, you get some cool shots. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on that camera, but it's pretty. Uh, I'm feeling this run, but it feels good. It's gonna be really good to go make those breakfast burritos and get me a Coke. <laughs> 
have a seven dots on point head. I'm gonna figure it out though. When I say figure it out, just just start doing it right, you know? Had a good two weeks before this. And then I'm not going to work and there's so many excuses. And I'm not good at that part. So that's a failure on me. And I'm gonna get on it. I hope this video works out. We'll see. Save. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know what any of that means. Maybe John can tell me. <laughs> 57 hours. I'm good at the recovery part. All right. 1135, 420 calories. I'll, I'll take that. You know what's crazy is since I've really kind of paid attention to dieting and exercise and just more experience as I'm getting older, that 420 calories is how much will be in my Coke I'm about to drink. So I just ran, whatever, around 30 minutes so I can have one Coke, which hey, that's better than not, but what a, what a waste on your diet. So, okay, that's all I got. We'll see how this turns out. Thanks for watching, whoever made it that long. Without question, my favorite part of my run is when I get home. I don't have no one to go home to, but I get this welcome every single time I come home. Hey girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You glad I'm home? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Yeah. Every single time. Have a great day. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Body start to drop. Ay.